Good afternoon, everybody. So if you happen to be joining me live, it's Thursday afternoon. If you're joining me at the regularly scheduled time, it's Friday morning. Um, I had to change my plans because I've got to run my little girl to the doctor. Something I've been trying to avoid all this time. I keep telling the kids since March, I said, if you're going to do anything, you can't get hurt because I'm not taking you to the doctor. But she didn't listen. So um, I got to get her little knee checked out. So we're going to go do that. So what you will need for this workout is a step of some variety. Uh, there are a couple of exercises where you could add weights in or even a band if you want to. I am not going to do that because I'm throwing this thing together real fast and I'm just going to do it basic and hope that you guys can figure out the differences. I additionally have a very large amount of noise going on behind me. I have a, I have a lawnmower back here. I've got a jet ski right there and I'm probably going to have my children yelling at me soon. So, um, so today all you'll need is mat and you'll need a step, a bench, a Amazon box, something to stand on. And um, there you go. So we'll run everything this way. You'll do the exercise I give you for 20 seconds. Then you'll take a 10 second break. You'll do that same exercise for 30 seconds, 10 second break. You'll do it again for 40 seconds. Then we'll move on, okay? All right, no music today because we have a lawnmower. There we go. All right, so up and at them. As usual, we're gonna warm you guys up. I want you to take it nice and wide. Basic stance for a squat. Take it down into a basic squat. Use those arms and pull it up. Take it down and up. Up, down, up, down, up, two more. Last one, pull it up. We're gonna take it down, leave those arms here. Swipe them down to the floor, back up to the ceiling down to the floor, ceiling, floor, ceiling, floor, two more, ceiling, floor, ceiling, and floor, walk those feet in, I'm going to take a step back, you're going to lunge forward, right leg comes first, take it back, left leg, take it back, right leg, and left, and right, and left, this time, double it up. So it's going to go down, pull it up, set it down, switch. Down, pull it up, set it down, switch. Two more. Down, pull up, down, and switch. Down, pull up, down, switch. Did I say it was a vacuum cleaner behind me? I'm in a lawnmower. Now I'm second guessing myself. Okay, back to those lunges. This time, Kick it, bring it back. Lunge. Kick it, bring it back. Catch your balance. Kick, back, down, kick. Four more. Down, kick, down, kick, down, kick, down. Now we're going to take them back behind you. Same motion, backwards. Down, lift, down, lift. Four more, four, up, three, up, two, up, last one, one, up, little jog in place. So as I already said, oh, I got somebody here. As I already said, 20 seconds on, 10 off, 30 seconds on, 10 off, 40 seconds on, you're done. We're gonna move on to the next exercise. All right, 10 jacks, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Forward, four, three, two, two to the side. Four, three, two, two to the front. Four, three, two, two to the side. Four, three, two, you are warm enough. Good enough for now. The earrings coming out. Okay. The first exercise, we're gonna take it nice and slow to start. See how I walked off camera? I'm leaving you in suspense. You're going to use your bench here, or your box, or your ottoman, or your chair, or whatever it is that you have in your house that will hold your body weight. We're going to do incline push-ups. That's we're going to start off right off the bat with them. So you may do them on your knees here, but if you do, you have to be in complete, completely perfect plank. 
The other way to do it, come up on your toes, basic push up there, okay? 20 on, 10 off, 30 on, 10 off, 40 on, done. Ready? Here we go. And three, two, and one. You can come all the way up over those hands so your full chest is on the bench. You can push it back a little bit farther so it's just your head that's on the bench too. That'd be a little bit more of a tricep push. Good work. Three, two, one. 10 second break. Going into 40. I'm going into 30 seconds next. Woo! It's like 45,000 degrees outside. Here we go. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Push, push. We're gonna get these push ups out of the way. Push it. Squeeze that rump. Push. Squeeze that rump. Push. Huh. Push. The closer in your elbows are to the side, the more of a tricep push-up you're doing. The farther out they go, you're working a little bit more of your pecs, your biceps, your deltoids there. Keep going. Three, two, one. Good work. 10 second break, 40 seconds. Then you're done with the push-ups. Hot dog. Here we go, three, two, and one. You can go over, you can come back, go to the back, elbows can go out to the side, they can stay close to your sides, whatever you want, and you can vary it up too. Good, almost done. I'm gonna come down to my knees. This is my second class for the day. I'm gonna come down. <laughs> I'm not too proud. Not too proud enough to say I gotta stop doing full push-ups at this moment. Five, four, three, two, and one. There you go. I provided a guide for you. How's that? Good. Done with your push-ups. Moving on. Box jumps. Same format. 20, 30, 40. Okay? Box jumps. Both legs on, both off. If you are in a, a, jumping onto anything that's higher than like six inches off the ground, I want you to step down. Because if you jump down, you could bust up your Achilles, okay? So, <clears throat> hop up, step down, 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Both feet up, step it down, up. Woo! One version done, 20, 30 seconds coming up next. You're almost there, getting ready to start in three, two, and one. Get both legs up there. Come on guys, woo wee! If you start to feel fatigued enough to feel like maybe one of your legs is gonna trip you up, you can hop up with one, but then switch your leads the next time. So you'd hop up with the left, hop up with the right. I prefer that you do both, but again, if you feel like you may end up tripping, just switch to one. Three, two, one. Take a break. 40 seconds next. Huffing and puffing. There's not too many that are high cardio here. Three, two, one. 40 seconds. Woo! Get them on up there. Good job. Hup. 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 Woo. You got 15 seconds left. jumping. Excellent job. Woo! Okay. Go. Grab your water. Always stay hydrated. All right. Next, offset squats. So you're going to put your left leg on. 
Right leg facing the front. Hello, thank you. Right, left leg is on, right leg is facing the front. Straight down into a squat. This is one of those exercises where you can use weights. Here, again, I'm not using them just because this was on the, on the fly. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, 20 seconds. Both knees facing forward, both feet facing forward. Your butt is going back, 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 back. All right, you're not turning into a taco, right? Your chest is staying elevated. It is from here that you are bending. That waist is going up and down. The knee is bending too. Three, two, one, take a break. 10 second break, 30 seconds next. Woo! <clears throat> Three, two, one. 10 seconds can come and go very quickly. Unless you're actually active doing it, then 10 seconds can seem like an eternity, can it? Good work, guys. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Good job, everybody. Go all the way down again. If you're holding weight, you could put two on your shoulders. You can hold one in the middle. Either one is fine. Five, four, three, two, and one. 40 seconds next. Then we're gonna switch legs. Pretty easy thing to do. And three, two, and one. 40 seconds. Let's see if you can make this worth it, okay? Keep that chest up nice and tall like someone has put a board right straight in front of you. Your knee can't go past it. Your chest can't go past it. Your head cannot go past it. Nothing is passing this board. You are sitting down, squeezing up with that glute. Sit down, squeeze up. Sit down, squeeze up. Sit and squeeze. That's right. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Good work. Keep going. You have 10 seconds left. Pull. Pull. Good job. And three, and two, and one. Excellent job. Move your body to the opposite side or your bench to the opposite side. Going right into it. 20, 30, 40. Ready? Here we go. 20 seconds here. Sit back down. Chest stays up nice and tall. Good job, guys. Woo! Challenging those muscles to do the exact same exercise in just a little different format. Putting one leg up, squeezes this oblique, your hip flexor on that side. Three, two, one, take a break. And you're overworking your loaded leg, the leg that's stable on the ground. It gets a little bit more work. 30 seconds, three, two, one. 30 seconds, squeeze it. Squeeze, squeeze. Good job, pull, pull. Good work, everybody. Come on, keep those knees facing forward. Keep those feet facing forward. You're just gonna keep right on pushing. Keep going, guys. Awesome. Still moving, still moving. In three, two, and one. One more round, 40 seconds, and we're gonna move on. Whew, I love it. Not too high cardio today, huh? Three, two, one. Some of you all may have to go for a run. Hit that turbo kick today. I know turbo kick is Friday, right? Turbo kick every day. Go Lloyd. Go Lloyd. Good work, guys. Feeling a little bit of burn in that quad that's up on top, which is unusual because it doesn't seem like it's the one that's working. But you know what's different is that you're using a different part of it. You're using a much higher part of this quad than you would otherwise be using. Good job, good job, come on, keep going. You got it, 10 seconds. Come on, squeeze that glute, pull, 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 pull. Good work, three, two, and one. Shake it out, you are done with that exercise. We're gonna move on. All right, so next, this one may be a little bit challenging depending on the size or the height of the device that you're using. But we're gonna do toe taps. So I want you to get those legs up as high as you can, toes as close to the top of the board or the bench or the mat or the chair or whatever it is that you're using. If you cannot reach it, what I need you to do is come as high as you can without tripping. It's extremely important that you don't trip because I'm not there to pick you up. Got it? 20, 30, 40, here we go. Three, two, one. Come on, hold those knees up. Get this up as high as you can. 
Y'all, we do high knees all the time, so this should be no problem. Good work. Come on. Get those toes up there. Get them up. Get them up. Get them up. In three, two, one. Ten seconds off. Thirty seconds next. We're pushing it today. Here we go. Three, two, one. Thirty seconds. Come on. Get those toes up there. Woo! a whole lot during this. Almost. And five, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds. We still have that 40 second push to go. I know we can do it. I believe in us. I believe in us. Three, two, one. 40 seconds. Super high toe taps. This is that time to get those toes up there. Work those hip flexors like you've never worked them before. Get them up. Woo! I just took the lid off my ottoman. Come on. Push. Push. Halfway. to a full push-up. It's a modified push-up. The bigger issue that I want to see is an oblique crunch. So when you pull that leg up, you are crunching the oblique on that side. All right? So from here, you're going to come down into a quarter push-up position, crunch it, push it, crunch it, push it, okay? So it's just, and y'all, we have to do it two times because we have two legs. So this is a lot of pushing up, okay? But you can do it. I can do it. Here we go. In three, two, one, quarter. But pull that knee in, pull it in. Now, you might feel some fatigue in that hip flexor right in here because you just worked the stew out of it. But it's okay, you just fight right through it, okay? If you can't and you need to take a break, you do that. Three, two, one. 10 seconds off. Take that break if you need it to stretch those hip flexors out and then get right back into it. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Little push ups. Little bitty. Here again, if you have a band, you could potentially have this wrapped around your feet and pull it up there. That adds a lot of resistance, a lot of tension into this exact movement and makes those obliques work just that much harder. And of course your hip flexors too. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. We still have 40 seconds on this side. Then we're going to switch sides. Here we go. And three, two, and one. Push, pull, push, push. Come on guys. Get that leg up there. Give me a good crunch. Crunchy, we like things crunchy, don't we? Especially if we're doing crunches. Woo! Good. Push. Push. You're over halfway done with this one. Excellent job. 10 seconds to go. Good. Woo! Hee! And five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Grab a hold of whatever it is you're using. You're going to lean back into a modified child's pose to stretch out those arms before we go to the opposite side. Stretch them out. Let them rest. 
Good job. Come on up. I'm gonna take my bench and move it to the other side so that I can face you. Y'all, the exact same thing. Those arms are gonna be tired. But now you're doing that left leg. Now, your left hip, excuse me, left hip flexor has now had time to rest. So you should be able to use it, power through. 20, 30, 40, quarter push-ups. Big pull on that leg. Three, two, and one. Pull it, push. Little push-ups, nothing major. Just keep, keep this leg moving. I want it flush with the surface of the ground so your leg is actually turned outward, okay? And five, four, three, two, one. You're done with the 20s, you've got 30s, so your leg is facing out. This hip is externally rotated. 30 seconds and three, two, one. Push, push. Come on, this leg is not touching the floor, y'all. Taking it in and out, crunching that oblique. Feel that pain. Burning, 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 burning. In such a good way. Whoo! Good job. 10 more seconds. Your arms are gonna be like the rock. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one. Have a seat. You have a 40 second push left on this side and we can say goodbye to push-ups. Y'all ready? 40 seconds. Three, two, one. 40 seconds to bring those obliques down to business. Push them. Push, push, push. Little push-ups. Work those deltoids. Come on. These are not full push-ups, so your pecs are getting a rest here. Woo! Pull. Pull. Good work, guys. You have 15 seconds to go. Come on. Come on. Push, push, push. Woo! Awesome. 10 seconds. Oh, I lied. That was five seconds. Four, three, two, one. I lied. I tricked you. Good job. Okay. You're done. Grab a hold of that. Bench. Pull back for child's pose. Let those arms feel the pull of whatever mechanism you're using in front of you to feel that pull on your arms. Ooh, it feels so nice. Feels so nice. Good work. Roll it on up. Okay. I'm going to move my bench back to the other side. <clears throat> Grab your water. All right, radio silence. It's so funny because I keep looking at the camera and like I just disappear. And then I just give a surprise, I'm back. Isn't that great? Okay, dips. So we're gonna do dips next, you guys know. Dips means legs, what? Legs straight, legs straight. Awesome, okay. So, 20, 30, 40 on these dips. Legs straight. That means they're not here, are they? They're here, right? Okay, so here we go. Whoops, I gotta watch my watch. Three, two, one. Elbows go straight back, very close to your body. Hold on nice and tight. Squeeze and push, squeeze and push. Elbows are in. They are going back. They are not flaring out to the side. Straight back in order to get those triceps activated. Woo! Five, four, three, two, and one. 10 seconds off till we go into that 30 seconds, which is gonna be so much fun because dips are awesome sauce. Three, two, 30 seconds, down and up. Go as far down as you can. If your rump touches the floor, cool. Just push it back up. Now, remember, you're not bending at the waist. It's not this thing. Those are bridge presses. That's a great exercise, but it's not what we're doing today. Today we're doing dips which means that those elbows have to go back. You have to bend at the elbows, allow your body to be set down on the ground, just using your arms to push you up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next is your 40 seconds. My fun little towel keeps joining me. 
Here we go. 40 seconds in three, two, burn. Burn them up. Come on. Push it. Dips, dips, dips. Dip, we're dipping dots. That's what we're doing. Woo! Oh yeah, feeling that. Mm -hmm. Hurts so good, baby. Legs are straight. If you are growing weary, but you want to continue, you may now bend in those knees. I'm not gonna. You have nine seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Good job on those. Oh, my sweet Cherry is here. Hello, my love. I adore you. Mwah, mwah. Love you, baby. Okay. So now we're going to do flyovers. That means you need to have access to both sides of whatever it is that you're using. If you are using a chair and you can really not get that far, what I want you to do is stay in the front side of the chair and take your body side to side, okay? So if you are able to get up and over your mechanism, we're gonna do that. So your hands are gonna go on whatever you're using, body comes up and over, hands stay stable. 20 seconds. Y'all ready? Three, two, and one. Try to kick that booty. Get those feet up. Try to kick it, kick it, kick it. Woo! Boom! 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 Come on, y'all. Three, two, one. Okay. 20 is done. 30 is next. All right. We got this. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Kick that butt. Get those legs up there. Come on. Your arms have done a lot for you already. And here they go again helping to get you up and over. Again, if you are at something that does not allow you to go that far, push your body back a little bit farther and just go side to side, okay? Go as far as you can go. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 40 seconds coming up. Last time we have to do this. Woo wee! And three. Two, y'all ready? Come on, let's do it. Push, push. Woo! Come on, big and strong. Take it up, take it up. Show me what you got, guys. Come on. Woo! Get those legs up there. Come on, get them up over what you're jumping on. Your legs should be higher than the platform you're using. 10 seconds. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Done with those. Yay. All right. Slow it down. Okay, so this one, step ups. This is one of the ones that if you do have weights, this is a good time to use them. The way I would operate with the weights is to curl and press, okay? We are not gonna, we're not gonna curl and press weights just cause you know, I don't have any, but I'll show you how to do it without those, without them too. So, right leg is your lead. Right leg comes up. Left knee, left down, right back. Up, up, down, down. Right leg only, which means we're gonna do the left leg next. Okay, 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left. See how my arms are going? This is what you would do if you're holding weights. You would curl and press. It is a it's a backward facing press. So your thumbs are facing your body. Five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds coming up next. You face this way on that press instead of this way or this way. Three, two, 30 seconds. Same leg. 
right leg is relieved. Woo! Woo! Good. Take it down. Push it up. Take it down. Push it up. Take it down. Push it up. Good work, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Now we have our 40 second splat to do. Woo wee, here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Push it. 40 seconds. Take it down. That left knee is coming up as high as you can get it. Right knee is going down as low as you can get it. We're going for distance here. Height, depth. Push it, pull it, down and up. Keep your body moving. Whew. Good job, guys. 10 more seconds. Huh. Huh. All the way down. Three, two, one. Beautifimous. I just made that word up. Y'all, when I was in college, I used to make up one word for every paper I wrote just to see if my professor would notice. He never noticed. Never. Okay, left leg. So your left is your lead, the exact same thing. Here we go, three, two, one. Left, up, right. Left, up with the right, down with the right. Push it, take it back, squat it, lunge it all the way down. That left leg is trying to come as close to the ground as you can get it when you take it back. Three, two, one. 20 seconds go so fast. It didn't go so fast this morning. Three, two, one, 30 seconds. This morning, we did all these 20 second intervals. They just seemed like they lasted 900 years sometimes. Woo! Good job. 30 seconds here. Get that right knee up as high as you can get it. That left knee down as low as you can get it. Come on, good work, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. 40 seconds are next. Oh, and then I'm gonna get some water because I'm thirsty. Three. Two, one, last time on these step ups. Quads are fatiguing. If you have weight and you're curling and pressing, at this point, those arms are probably starting to wear out on you a little bit too, huh? Curl and press. Nice. Woo. Huh. Good job, everybody. Good, good, good. Keep going, keep going. I'm afraid to tell you we're not done yet. We still have some time left. Push it. 10 seconds. Almost done. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay. Ooh, water. All right, now, okay, you are gonna be, see I left, I left, I came back. Catching my breath. You're gonna be on your backside for a little while. We're gonna do single leg, single leg bridge press. So again, if you have a band, if you have weight, this is your time. If you have a band, I want you to place it right here above your knees just barely above your knees. We're not talking mid quad, like right above your knees. If you have a, a weight, go ahead and set it directly on your hip bones right here, okay? So single leg bridge press, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this whole series on the right, but then we're gonna switch to a different exercise. Then we'll come back to the left, okay? So what I want you to do, and y'all, this does burn. So. If you start to cramp up, I need you to take a little break and stretch out that hamstring. 
that right heel is going on your platform. Yeah, I'm gonna move mine back just a little bit. Camera. Okay. Right heel on the platform. Your left leg is gonna be in the air or sitting in figure four position. Hands are on the ground. All you're doing is lifting that hip. It comes down without touching the ground. Okay, that's it. That's all we're doing in three, two, and one. I'm going to leave mine elevated here. Push. My heel is on the platform, but the toe is extended skyward. That's where I want you to. Digging in with that heel, only the heel, puts all the pressure and all the strain directly on that hamstring so that you target the exact muscle that we want you using. Three, two, one. Good work, going into that 30 seconds. I hope you can see me, I think you can. Yeah, okay. Three, two, one. 30 seconds, straight up. Push that left leg skyward. Your butt does not touch the floor. Now it comes extremely close to touching the floor. Extremely close. But you don't actually touch. Okay? You are going to feel some tension in your right hamstring. If you need to take that break, you're going to take it, stretch that leg out, bring it back, and then do it again. If you face an actual cramp, you're going to have to stop until we're done with this one. All right. Five four, three, two, and one. Give it a rest because you've got 40 seconds left on that leg. Y'all ready? Drive it. Drive it home. Come on. Make a point to that leg. Three, two, and one. Up and down. Up and down. Good work. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Woo! Good job, everybody. Come on. Keep this toe flexed. That toe is flexed, facing skyward. Driving through the heel. I know, I think I can hear you screaming through the camera. This is not everybody's absolute favorite exercise. It does burn. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten that right leg out. Good work. Keep that leg straight. Sit up. Push your chest towards your knee to stretch out that hamstring because you get to use it again in our next exercise. Yeah, I know. That's how I go. Grab that toe. Okay, so I told you we're going to take a break in between legs. We are. What we're going to do here, you're going to stay in this same position that you were just in, but this time you're going to lay flat down you're gonna keep the butt up. You're gonna to touch your heels. Up, up, down, down, switch leads. Up, up, down, down. Notice my toes are not touching anything at all. They are up in the air, snotty as can be, okay? That's where we wanna be. And three, two, one, get that hiney up. Up, up, down, switch leads. Up, up down switch leads up up down switch up up down switch up up down switch three two one take a break i'm gonna push mine there to anchor it a little bit for 30 seconds coming up and three two and one come on guys keep those hips elevated same thing if you want to pick up the pace you sure as heck can. Take it up and down, pick it up. I don't want anybody to miss their chair though and end up on the ground in a heap. You're already on the ground. We don't need the heap. Good, take it up and down. Boom, boom, boom. Up, up, up. Good work. Up, down. Hot dog. Good. Up, up, down, down. Three, two, one. One more time through. 40 seconds. Then we're gonna hit that left leg with the uh, with the pulses. And three, two, and one. Keep those hips up. Keep them up, guys. Pick up that pace. But those hips are skyward. Your toes are skyward. Your hips and your toes are having a little party. They're socially distant but they're having a little party because they're both skyward. 
That's where you want to be. Boom, bump up, up and down. Push and push and push. Good. Adding motion to a stable exercise makes those muscles work so much harder because they have to figure out what to do to keep you steady. That's why we're adding motion into this bridge press. It's an active way to work those hamstrings. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna move into that left leg bridge, left leg press. Good work. Okay. So, you already know what to do. We've been here a while. We've already done it. This time, the left leg is anchored. The right leg is skyward. 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Push it up and release. Up, down, up, down. Remember, your rump is not hitting the ground, right? It's staying up there. Good job. Hua. Hooah. Good. Push, push, push. Up and down. Three, two, one. Take a quick little break because we have a 30 second interval coming up and then 40 and then your hamstrings are done. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Good. When you isolate a muscle like that, it has to work so, so hard to do the motion you're asking it to do. It just really, really wants to cramp up. So you've gotta be very, very careful with your own body. Listen to your body. If it's telling you to take a break, you've gotta take a break. Five, four, three, two, one. You have 40 seconds left on this side. And then we can say goodbye to those little suckers. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Push, push, push. Woo! Awesome job, guys. You are halfway done, halfway done with this 40. Yep, this is your last thing on this hamstring. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten that leg. Pull your chest up. Stretch out that hamstring. Let it take a break. Say thank you, hamstring. Thank you for doing this for me. I appreciate it. I've got some cloud cover here. It feels very good. All right, grab that toe. You only have two exercises left. That's all we're doing today. All right, so next, make sure that your bench is dry. Mine currently is not all that dry. Um, so again, if you have the band, I want you to grab the band, set it just below your knees, just below, okay? So just below your knees, hang on real quick. Come on. All right, you are gonna take your left leg, Stand up on the bench, lift the right leg out, and set it back down. I'm gonna move my bench just a little bit. Okay? So, lift, set it down. Lift, set it down. That's where we're gonna be. If, for your balance and well being, you want to take your left leg, set it down on the ground in between, and set it back up, you sure as heck can. But what I want you to do is cross it, then set it back down. Take it out, set it, cross it, take it back up, okay? 20 seconds, three, two, and one. Lift, lower, lift, lower. So we already did this once, but we just did squats the last time. This time we're adding that lift to work on our abductors. Abductors, abductors. Abducting is taking away, adducting adds to your body. Three, two, one. 30 seconds next, Whew. then 40, then we switch sides. Three, two, and one. Lift, 
lower. 30 seconds here. Woo! Good job, guys. Awesome work. Keep it up, get as high as you can. Feel that left quad start to burn, 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 because you are lifting your entire weight up a step. That's a lot different than just squatting from where you are. Walking up a step makes a big difference. Five, four, three, two, one. 40 seconds coming up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up we go, 40 seconds. Take it up, press it out. Take it up, press it out. Push it, get that right leg up as high as you can get it. Set it back down gently. You should be landing like a feather on the ground. Butterfly kisses between your toes and the ground. Not flopping down like the Jolly Green Giant. We're setting it down gently, carefully with purpose. You know why? Because that means that that left leg is in control. The left leg is doing the work and you are allowing it to. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Y'all, if you are falling down onto the ground with force and weight, it means that you are falling into that right side, falling into it. In order to land gently, you have to have all of the weight centered nice and directly over that left leg. We are now done with the left, so I would say the same for the right. Should be fully centered on that one side in order to get this work, this work, the work out of this exercise. So, water. Okie doke. Last one. Again, if you're banded, right there, okay? You've already done it, you've already seen it. Anchor on the right, 20 seconds, three, two, and one. Lift it, set it down. Lift, down, lift. Nice, soft, quiet, gentle landing. That means that you're fully anchored on the right-hand side. Now, if you had not been, and you were landing with your weight on both of them, and now you're anchored, you're probably saying, whoa, that's different. Three, two, one. It feels extremely different to have your weight centered on, on the one leg versus split in half. Three, two, 30 seconds. Whoopsies, lost my balance. Pull, pull, pull. Two exercises to go. This one and one more, you're done. Good, 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 good. You are working it, guys. 10 seconds left. Come on, push it, push it, push it. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold on tight, because you got 40 seconds left. Thank you, quads. We've already thanked our hamstrings. Three, two, one. 40 seconds. Come on, whoops. Come on, stand all the way up. Kick that leg out. You wanna get up as high as you can on this right leg, all the way up till that knee is almost completely straight. And then you lift the outside leg, straighten your one leg, lift the other leg, straighten, and then lift. Come on, guys. Almost done. Almost, I promise. You're almost done. Keep working. Now your hamstring is probably coming back to life again too, because you've done so much isolation on it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, you are done. Round of applause. We're gonna stretch this out. I am impressed with you. I am impressed that I got a second workout in, okay? And there we go. So open up nice and wide. These legs just did a number on you. So let's give them some love, okay? Nice and wide here. Deep, deep, deep lunge to the left-hand side. If your heart is still going bum, 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 I want you to come up and down, up and down until you feel like your breathing has regulated 
and that you're not huffing and puffing anymore and that your heart is slowing down, then you're gonna sit and just chill out here on the left hand side. Your right toe is facing out. Take the time to notice that toe. Think about it with your mind and externally rotate it even just a little bit more. So now you're gonna feel some pressure into your ankle and have a seat. Good work. Nice, now turn that toe forward, stay where you are, deeper lunge. Left hand is gonna meet that leg. Now look, it's still lunging on the right hand side, but my left leg is now meeting it. My body is to the right, my left leg hand is going, oh leg, I know you're over there. Hello. And bring it back to back to the side, come back up to center. Good work. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Plie position, so you're lunging, but this leg is turned out. So your toe is facing out. Deep, deep, deep lunge on the right side. Good. Think about that toe. Turn it out a little bit farther, feeling it into the ankle now. Good job. Now take that toe, face it forward. You're still lunging. This right hand is gonna reach for that ankle. Here we go, reach, reach. Your body's to the right. Your arm is trying to reach that leg that's over there on the left hand side. It's not succeeding, it might be succeeding. Good work, everything right straight to center, both hands down in the middle. Place both palms on the floor and lean back. Good job, good job. Come back to center, walk those feet in together. Roll up nice and slowly, face your bench. Take your right leg, heel comes onto the bench, sitting down at the waist, toe is facing up. Good job. On my count, we're gonna lower it even further in three, two, and one. Good job, set that toe away from you. Awesome, roll it up, we're gonna do the opposite side. Left leg comes up, toe is up, hinging at the waist. On my count, we're gonna take it down in three, two, and one. Good work, point away with that toe. Hold it here, hold it, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll it back up. Both hands on that bench. Your, your legs are very, very close to the bench at this point. Drive this right leg back behind you. Your left leg is right up against that bench. Push through the heel of the left of the right foot. Good work. Bend the knee, place it on the floor. Deeper lunge. Come down as far as you can into that hip flexor. Guys, it's starting to sprinkle on me and there's not a cloud in the sky. They were here a minute ago, but they're gone now. Sure feels good. Drive the toe into the floor, kick up that knee, walk it back in, your left leg goes back. Push all the way through the heel, nice straight leg. Good work. Place the knee on the floor, toe on the floor, push into that hip flexor. Good job. Drive the toe into the floor, lift the knee, take, um, excuse me, take both legs into the center. Once again, holding onto the bench, lean back. We're gonna really stretch out those hamstrings. Now, we did this when we did push-ups, but I want you to place both knees on the floor, drop into both hands. So like this is a modified child's pose. We did this earlier. Take the right hand, lean it straight back behind you. Now swim it out, back to the starting position. Left leg, left hand goes straight out behind you. And swim it out into starting position, good. Rock forward, rock backwards. We're gonna do this two more times. Rock forward, backwards, one more forward, and backwards, good job. Roll it up, push onto those toes, lock your hands in. Say thank you, Bench, for helping me out today. Face the front, nice big deep breath. Float all the way out. Give me one more big deep breath. Blow it all the way out, and you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for joining me. Bye.